Hey guys, we are back on the captain's log. We, uh, we're we wearing our pinks, right? For the real men wear pink. Because we care. The American Cancer Society, I guess I'm nominated now. I have to lead a team. Uh, Am I your team? You're going to be on the team, bro. Yeah. You're going to have to send out some tweets and tell everyone to donate to uh, to the cause. Donate to the cause. It's, it's uh, breast cancer, right? Yeah, American Cancer Society and... Uh, Anyway, it's Mitch Fatel on the Captain's Log. You're in Naples, Florida, performing at Off the Hook Comedy well, Club. I, it's a hurricane weekend, buddy. What do you think? I, first of all, I talk about hurricanes. I just found out something. So you do the Captain's Log every day. Every day, buddy. What? You, so what, so do you run out of subjects? No. If I'm not here, what do you talk about? You. Me. Yeah, <laughs> usually. <laughs> yeah, we usually talk about your sexiness. That's all what. Right. That's why it's so. it goes on. All right. Like, it doesn't stop. You know? I like the captain's log. You do? But I was kind of, I was hurt to find out you do it every day. I thought it was just with special people. Well, no, it's every day. So I touch on different subjects. Like on Tuesdays, I do uh, Have you men's heard? and women's health and well-being and sexual health with Dr. Dollar. That's wow. always good. Mondays and Fridays, I always have local guests on that are entrepreneurs or, you know, have interesting stories. Uh -huh. And then Wednesdays and Thursdays, I do uh, comedians. And have you ever had your dad on the podcast? They have chickened out a hundred times. No, you gotta yeah. have your dad. I gotta have him on, right? Your dad is a character and I love He's him. He's the best. And I my mom. I wanna see your dad on the, yeah, that would be great. You know what would be a great podcast? Get your mom and dad on here and talk to them about your childhood. That's exactly what I want to do. Thought you would be I had successful. my baby, Sean, and he, because he, he was said. really influential. Yeah, he was great. You had, you had, your My high school baseball coach. So for four years, like in high school, when I was like, what, 13 to 18? Did you think you were going to be a baseball player? Were you that good? Well, I mean, I played baseball in college. So Did you really? Yeah. So what happened was, is like, at a point, like I think maybe my junior year, the colleges started contacting me to go play, and Whoa. I was like, I'm gonna go to be a chef. I want to go to culinary school. You had no interest in being a baseball yeah, player. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. and I was not planning on being a baseball player, but it, I said, well, okay. This he's like, look, you can go play baseball at college. Yeah. Like that's cool. You should go. And it took him like I don't know. It took him almost uh, like almost a year to convince me. And then at the very end, I just started a that were recruiting me like crazy at the end. Wow, and, I didn't um, know this about And then you. I went, yeah. So you were a good baseball player. What position did you I play? I was a pitcher. Hey, Matt Jolie, Casey. Casey is uh, pure romance. You ever see those ladies' uh, toy parties? She yeah, had, I saw I, your I podcast her the other I saw, day. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. watched She's a little. She's watching right now. Hey, yeah. I like to use vibrators and stuff. You do? Hey, thank you. Thank you for being creepy on my podcast. <laughs> Mitch Patel, <laughs> by the way. You my can wife see Comedy club this weekend live. with my vibrators. Yes, yes. So wait, Casey sells like uh, yeah. They, she throws these little girl parties. Yeah, and they, the dirty they, parties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am beginning to get against toys for girls. You are why? Because my wife, when my wife and I had first started dating, I found accidentally while I was going through her drawers. A, a item called a Hitachi. Do you know what a Hitachi is? I happen to know what that is. That's the plug-in, right? It's basically like using a power sander on your yeah. clitoris. Yeah. And girls get addicted to this monstrosity, and we can never live up to that after right, that. Right, right. So what'd you do, throw it away or jump plug it? No, we still use it on occasion <laughs> because I'm married and have a kid, and it's just it gets it's, the job done yeah, real fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a stand-in boyfriend. Right. Yeah. And so that's good. When you're out of town. He's a lot of crack. He's just very, 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 very busy yeah, all the yeah, time. Yeah. So, yeah. But my wife loves this stupid Hitachi thing. All right. So, next subject. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. So, you're traveling right now. And how long have you been on the road? Well, you know, I'm always on the road. I know, um, right? This is a two-weeker for me, which is really tough because I'm away from my little boy. Yeah. I miss him very much. He's a very special little child. And he, that's the only thing. I... I I will never stop doing stand-up comedy, but I'm just gonna probably tour a little less because I, I want to stay home with the kid more. Yeah. That's depressing. And then you're working on the new Hulu or Amazon, whoever picks it up, right? A new special called Bad Girls, yeah. and right now we have interest from two very major networks across so your fingers. And who's a bad girl? My wife. She is? Is she bad? You know my wife <laughs> is bad, come on. My... But I wanted everyone well, else to know yeah, about it. She's... How bad is she? She's a mommy now, so she ain't so bad. But no. she was bad, and I can look back and remember from the pictures, yeah. which we have to delete. Oh, just, do you? Well, do you have, have there's to, a hidden picture a, section in the phone. It doesn't That's matter. No, no. Those like, pictures are out there. Yeah. You can't have those pictures. We have some 
dirty pictures. A couple really? of urine. <laughs> I remember you're you're in there. <laughs> Why did you say I'm in them? Pitching, pitching. I oh my god! You, know, you have your bat out and everything. <laughs> <laughs> your college coaches in a couple of them. That's you're, crazy. You're, you're, you're That's what I coach. love about you. It's like <laughs> everything's just on the table, open, right? Isn't that? It's, it's been your whole life. What's the point of living if you're not going to be honest about everything? Because yeah. every, hasn't, don't you feel in life that people who have been honest have helped you the most? I think so. Like when I started learning as I got older that there were, you know who really helped me a lot was Louis C.K. When I first started working in the business, yeah. Louis C.K. was always killing. And I was like, man, you always kill. How good does it feel? And he's like, dude, I die so much. And he told me that he was doing a a tour of uh, army bases and that um <clears throat> that he get booed because he was because they was they didn't like him really? and he was honest with me about that and i thought that that helped me when i was in the beginning yeah. of my career you know like yeah. uh, but I, you never get booed because you do that thing where you reel in all the audience with the little whispers i've gotten booed you have know, you urban nights they tend to boo me a lot really yeah they don't like me you need to get right little to the white dick boy. jokes then yeah. is that what it is well i don't have dick jokes anymore now they're all about my son but yeah no, no. I think that I was just uh, the urban shows. I tend to get booed a lot, but but no, I haven't been booed in ten years. Right, right. Mostly, mostly they just boo when I leave because they want me to come back. <laughs> but um, the only boos you're getting is at Halloween. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. at this point now, no. But in the beginning, so I always feel like honesty is. You owe that to people. I right. think I'm honest about everything. Like, ask me any question that's embarrassing, and I'll be honest with you. Do you own a butt plug? No, but I did. F I have fingered my butt on occasion. <laughs> Yourself? Yeah. Oh, just like what? If you have a, a turn well, stop, just, or just, just for fun? Sitting at a red light board. <laughs> <laughs> Shake my hand. No, if I like, <laughs> what? No, I mean like if I'm masturbating or something, right? Do you ever play with your butt? Well, wait, this is getting really. Bad. That's I don't really. Like that, I but... can't answer these questions live. Yeah, you can. No, not yeah. on the podcast. Your baseball coach would want you to. <laughs> <laughs> We're just really opening up too much. This is getting too. Personal. I asked you to ask me any question. You I didn't know. have to go there. I know. Did. Why did I say that? Ask me a really vulnerable question. Then a I'll ask really, you one. Really, really. Let's do. Let's okay. ask. You ask me a very vulnerable question that would be embarrassing to answer, and I'll answer it 100% honest, and okay. then I'll do the same with you. Okay. All right. So, have you ever met a woman that you liked so much that you couldn't perform yes. for? Yes. Okay, so I met a famous girl. Yeah. So, there was a show when we were young called Beverly Hills 90210. And if you look it up, there's a girl named Lindsay Price yeah. who was on that show. She came to one of my shows and liked me and invited me back to her house in Hollywood. Yeah. And, and you I were so back, thrilled. And I was the anxiety was so much that you weren't the flowing. I, not oh, down. I didn't even. I didn't even. I didn't even get to that point. I just left. <laughs> like, like we started making really? out. Really? Like, we started making out. I look back and I'm like, that's my biggest failure ever. We started making out, and I was like, I gotta go. And yeah, I just, there's too much I going just, on I was right just now. Too nervous. Wow. Yeah. And I wish I could go back because now I'm older and I'm like, well, who cares? This yeah. is whatever. But I have been at parties where I couldn't get aroused. Yeah. I've wow. been in that situation. All right, now I get to ask you one, right? Okay, go ahead, ask me. <clears throat> okay, have you, has a girl ever made you cry? Yes, many times. Well, give me an example. Uh, has a girl ever made me cry? Um, I mean, I've been in situations where I've somehow had to cry and been with a girl. I don't know the exact example, but... Oh, you're so gay. What are you... <laughs> <laughs> what? That's, that's I know, okay? I know, I know. Look, I... I'm just doing this for the fans. I want them to know how open I am for them so they can really appreciate that my honesty. You cried in front of a girl? Oh Why my can God, you not I cry in front of totally a girl? Not. I've cried like probably 10 no, times. I've cried in front of my wife. Yeah. I have. I, yeah, and I've cried. I, 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 I've cried to my wife because I hurt my wife. When, we, when my wife and I first started dating, I cheated on her, and mm -hmm. and I then told her bad. I told her about it, and I was crying. Was the guilt? Her. Yeah, got you. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I never did it again. And then she's like, "Well, let's just do it together," and that's why we started. Right. Dating. Then yeah. you started getting in the lifestyle of swinging. But here's the, something crazier. Uh, when I told my wife, and I started crying. This is a true story. I was like, "I cheated on you," and I started crying. And then she's like, "Uh." 
And then I she's like, I cheat on you too. <laughs> <laughs> and, I was like, and then you cried more? And then we both cried. Then we <laughs> yeah, and then we went to therapy. Oh my and God. Yeah, that's so that was at the start? No, I did a podcast. In- this Tuesday, my podcast was on why people cheat. Yeah. So yeah. why was it? Because I know the top 10 reasons now after my podcast. It's why- pretty easy to figure out why you cheat. I think it's because you don't want to be, you don't, you're, you don't want to be vulnerable. You don't want to be, t- nobody wants to be the person that's cheated on. Right. So we all instinctively sabotage things. So yeah. if the other person did it, you go like, well, I did it too. That like, is one of the reasons I why. Think that's a, but there's ten, there's like 10 main reasons why people cheat. What's the number one? The number one, I don't know if there's necessarily a number one reason, but did you know that women cheat more from 18 to 25 than they do any other time in their life? That would make and sense. men cheat more from 35 Whoa. to 50. That's interesting. Do you know why? Yeah, because I think they have start having crises, right? No, the reason why is because men 35 to 50 are more are wanted more at that point because they're successful they have yes. jobs they have lives yeah. so the women want them more but when the girls are young and they're super uh, hot and everybody's hitting on them yeah that's when they cheat the most that makes a lot of sense and then after they get like after their 30s they may not be as wanted or you know so they feel like maybe they're getting more secure with themselves or maybe Uh-oh. they're like yeah huh. and so then they start they they tailor back yeah, that makes sense to me now because I know that once I became a comedian and started getting successful, all of a sudden a lot they of were girls it at you. were more available to me. Yeah, than so been. then you had the opportunity. And then I and then these girls would be like, no, I like you for you. And I'd be like, for some reason, girls like you didn't like me when I was working at Denny's. All right, like, so I, I have a question for you. All right. So girls always say they want a guy who's funny. Is yeah. that true? Yeah. That is? Yeah, I would never have had sex in my entire life if I wasn't funny. <laughs> no, that's not true. I was well when I was a kid, I used to get hotter girls than I sh- probably should have gotten because I would make them laugh. Make so, them laugh. So yeah, I think that that's. But I don't think so. I think that I think that success is the number one thing that turns women on. Yeah. Think about it. There are Robert Kraft is still getting hot. Right. You know, yeah. well, it doesn't matter. But how, is he getting like because for his looks or his power, power, or is it just his cash? I think no. I think they, cash you think is they power. want. Do you think they want to sleep with him, or do you think they want to just be wined and dined by him? I think power is really power. sexy to women. It yeah. is. Yeah, I it's think sexy it to anybody. I gotta say, like if a chick yeah. has her shit together, like she's way more. I'm way more into her than a girl who's like a total mess. Oh, really? Not me. No, you no. you'll take the mess. I or whatever. love the messy girl. The messy oh, the better. The crack down. You the are so dirty, <laughs> bitch, right yeah, now. Yeah, I yeah. can't take it. Yeah, the more the more they seem like they're just about to go to jail, the better. That's it is better for, for you. Yeah. Hi, Courtney. <laughs> how are you, Ali? What's going on? Who's that, Ali? Ali. I, Ali. I can't even see. It's very hard sometimes. People get mad. Like, why don't I give them shout outs? And then but they don't get it. I'm driving. I'm talking. I'm trying to read the screen. How many more things do you want from me, people? Yeah, don't read the screen and kill me. I'm a dad yeah. now. Yeah, I know. That would Otherwise, be an awesome podcast. if we got. I any- mean, I think I would go viral. Do you know who just died? Who? Speaking of uh, car stuff, the world's fastest woman just died in a car crash today or yesterday. Really? Trying to break her Speaking own of fast record. cars, look at that thing. Yeah, what is that? The wheels go sideways on that thing. I have to get a new camera on the front so people can see the front too. And then I'll switch it back and forth. What are you, should I do that? Wait, wait, say this I again. should get another camera so people can see when I'm driving because sometimes weird uh, things happen when I'm on the You know what podcast. that would do? That would show women you have a lot of power. Really? They'd be like, he has power to see both ways. Yeah. And then you'd be able to get a lot of girls. That's what I need. I need a hook. <laughs> yeah, you need what a hook. would be my hook? What should I do like to, to reel them in? Well, you always because you're taken now, and I'm single. You, so what should I, what should be my hook? You always had the hook that you were a captain. Yeah. That was always cool to me. Yeah. And you, you know what your biggest hook was? Your entrepreneurship. Last time we talked, you told me that when you were a kid, and I still tell people this story, yeah, this is a true that story. you used to take pizza to school. Absolutely. And used to cut the pizza in half or something. Yeah, and no, sell- slice. I would eat my slices <laughs> and then sell the rest. Right. And get your money back. And in my head, I was oh, like, right, that's right, right. normal. You told me you would buy a pie. Yeah. I would eat what I want and then I would sell the rest. <laughs> sell the rest, it's easy. Like three bucks a slice or two bucks a slice. Yeah. Get all my money back and the next day I'd And my meanwhile, pizza. I would have been next to you just fingering my butthole going, why does that guy have so much money? <laughs> <laughs> like, what's he doing? I never thought like that. You didn't? No, I and, never. And to me, it didn't even make sense that I would not. 
that, that was just normal. Yeah, and that's why you are doing amazing in your life now. That's right. why you're. Hey. The, the other question I have for you, I just wanted to get this out of the way. Yeah. That's you can ask me anything. Why did you not name the new restaurant Captain Brian's? Because because I sold the previous location oh, with the name. Oh, because I love that name. Yeah. I miss that name. I just thought it was cool. That was a good question. Captain Brian's. What you've been we, you've been holding on to that question for three it's years. It's kind of bothered me. <laughs> That was a lot really? Yeah. The only thing you asked me is why I had the name changed. Okay, okay. Yeah, because, and where did you come up with Row? Just because of Robo? Yeah, Robo. It's a it's a bad name. I, it's gonna I, change. Yeah. yeah, I like Captain Brian. I think I'm better. gonna change it one day. Why not just off the hook seafood restaurant and comedy? Yeah, just club. off the hook comedy. Off the hook is becoming really famous now. Yeah. Me and someone else, I don't remember who it was, were trying to figure out what Off the Hook was. And it was because it, people, when you, in the old days when they would perform, if they weren't funny, they'd pull them with a hook. Is that correct? Oh, I don't know. Is that a thing? That's what someone said to me yesterday at your show. They're like, oh, don't you know why Brian named it Off the Hook? And I was like, well, it's obviously a fish thing. I said, no, it's because in the old days when a performer would go on stage, if they weren't funny, they would give them the hook. And and here it's saying off the hook. And I well, was like, it, it has multiple meanings. Like the hook is for the fish part. Off the hook is like, you know, the, the urban dictionary is like, you know, yeah, it's a party right. place, right? It's a party thing. It's off the hook. It's off the hook. Yeah. And then, don't the uh, kids say off the chain though? I I don't know what the kids these days. They're crazy <laughs> kids these days. Yeah, they're just vaping and getting high yeah, and yeah, smoking yeah. their bath salts. <laughs> no, they know. Guys, you can't miss Mitch Fatel this weekend. All the way, it's a hurricane party, right? All yeah, the weekend. By the way, I'm coming. Stay, if there's a hurricane, don't think I'm staying in a hotel. I'm no, coming. No, you're coming place. to my house. Damn straight. Can you put your clothes on this time? Yeah, the last I, time it was awkward. Well, just if you pay me this time, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll keep them on. <laughs> We're out, guys. Mitch Fatel all weekend off. Hookcomedy.com. Get your tickets. It's been a, it's been another great podcast. I buddy. think that was one of this your, your best. third. Is this your third time on the Captain's? I Lock? think it's my second. Second. But I, I always uh, look forward to it, and they go so fast. Yeah, it's quick. That's how I work. I want people to give comments if this was the best one. Or what, oh, yeah. no, what number you'd rank this out yeah, of 10? Yeah, yeah. This is number 307, I think. All right, so rank it out of 307. Yeah, people. what number are you? Give, All me, right. give me one or two at least. Yeah, you got to.